Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. This is your host with the most, aka also known as Nelson. And before I get into the meat of this particular video, hold on for a moment. First and foremost, please stay hydrated, y'all. This is water, just so y'all know that. Secondly, for this particular review, or excuse me, actually, this will be my first official review on this channel. And this is one I actually have been planning on doing for a very long time. But I kept thinking to myself that I felt as if it was better for me to kind of like just let my thoughts kind of simmer on this particular series. And I think most of y'all would agree with me on that because, whew, oh my goodness, this series right here, man, this right here. You know, before I go into it, let me just give a special shout out to Amazon Prime, to Amazon period, because y'all, when I say y'all found a diamond in the rough, nah, fuck a diamond, fuck a diamond. Y'all didn't even find a diamond in the rough. I take that back. Y'all find a ruby, a sapphire in the fucking dirt that, you know what's funny? And for the fans out there for the uh, comic book series of Invincible, which I'm going to review today, I have to say that I don't think, because uh, for some people who might have heard about the hype of the series, right? Let's say you've never read the comic books. Something that you might typically find if you look up on a video or you go on Reddit or you go on Twitter or you go on any particular social media, typically speaking, a lot of fans from the comic books have oftentimes said that this is one of the greatest superhero stories ever told. And I'm going to be quite honest. I was a little suspicious. Not suspicious, y'all. Excuse me. But I was a little bit hesitant to check out the series when I kept hearing that, hearing that because I kept thinking to myself, hmm, well, if that was the case, then I would think that it would have more notoriety in the comic space or be more well known for a lot of people for it to be the case. But of course, never judge a book by its cover. And I definitely have to say y'all, from this first season, I can honestly say, I can see it. Because Lord knows how many seasons we're gonna get out of this show. And I've even heard that the creator of the comics who also did Walking Dead, he's working very closely with these guys. And I think some people even speculate because the series, in terms of the comic book, it only has about, to my uh, memory, off the top of my head, 144 issues. And I think there has been talk or discussion or speculation that he may possibly, depending on, I guess, how long he wants to work with them or how many seasons we might get out of the series, he might, just might, go past the last issue that was made. And I think the last issue was around, and again, y'all correct me if I'm wrong here, I want to say it was from what I heard. I, now, this is my thing. Hold up. Before I go any further into this, let me make this very clear. First and foremost, I have not read the comics. And personally, I've heard, and, I've, and you probably have seen some of the reviews out there from people who've watched the, um, watched the series and have read the books or from the comics, and have said that, look, if you read the comics, it's not necessarily going to take away the enjoyment of the series. But me personally, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that because there are certain series that if you read the material, it should it wouldn't necessarily take away from the, uh, the adaptation necessarily. But to me, I feel like you get a bigger impact when, you're, when you really go completely blind into this universe. Like, perfect example I'm going to give y'all real quick is I say... For instance, uh, hold on, hold on. It, it escaped my head. Full Male Alchemist. Perfect example. Per the perfect example I'm going to use. Because, or Full Male Alchemist Brotherhood, to be more specific. Because if you watch Full Male Alchemist first, the first adaptation of the manga, or the manga, how you want to pronounce it, and then if you watch Brotherhood afterwards, you know certain plot points that are still going to be developed within both series. But they make such a good job diversifying both of these things to where 
Full Metal Alchemist can be his own thing, and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood could be his own thing too. They don't necessarily contradict each other. They work well in their own storytelling or how they frame certain characters. And for me, I think that is the best way I can approach Invincible because the first season, and I have seen certain panels, and let me say this real quick. My next comment, I don't say for anyone who's read the comics in terms of, you know, fuck y'all assholes for spoiling shit. That's not towards y'all. This is more so to YouTube that for some reason, the algorithm, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't lie if you don't know what I'm talking about. For some reason, I don't know why, I don't know if this is just how the algorithm, work, algorithm works or someone just updated to do this shit. For some reason, they want to upload, or not upload, excuse me, y'all, but they want to put on your timeline or in your feed past videos of regards to a certain show you're watching and whatnot from years ago. And they show certain panels, you know, as the dumb the thumbnail. And that's how you sometimes you get a little spoiled about, you know, certain scenes to come. And let me say, and you know, I'm going to say this. There is, there's one particular, I guess, spoiler to an extent that I do want to touch real quick before I go into the series. Because, I'm going to say this. I do know just certain, not plot points necessarily, but I know certain interactions that Invincible has in the comics a bit. Just a little bit. Don't tell me anything else. Past what I'm going to bring up before I get into the full series review. But what I would say is this. I'm aware that Invincible, he's going to go through a lot. Before ever, before all things are said and done, he's going to go through a lot. I, I get the general gist of that. And I think that's the basis of why a lot of people consider this to be one of the greatest stories ever told in terms of being a superhero. And you definitely can tell that he's invincible because he's not because of his body or his physicality. It's more so his spirit that can't be broken. And I think that definitely the series is going to cover things that would break lesser men, so to speak. And honestly, there's one scene in particular that has been alluded to from the comics that I think a lot of people have touched on. And... And they're curious as to how it's going to be, if it's possibly going to be animated. Because again, the way that the comic book is carried in the adaptation for the show is carried, they're not the exact same. There are certain alternate, there are so there are certain uh, adjustments to fit more comp, the uh, more um, modern times, which makes sense. And you know, just switching up certain characters, stories, and what have you, or their characteristics. But there's one particular point within the story that I've been alluded to and I'm going to say this I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't heard of it but I'm just going to say this y'all may know what I'm talking about I'm just going to say this I don't know how many seasons this show is going to have I don't know and the fact that the show itself the time span for each episode is usually over a over 30 minutes about to four actually about yeah about 40 some minutes which I ain't gonna lie. Hey, kudos to y'all. Just kudos to y'all on that because I, I can honestly say that that's something else on addition to what the show does that throws me a little bit for a loop because sometimes I'll be watching it and I have to even remind myself like, God damn, this shit is about almost like an hour. An hour long animated series. It almost feels like that. And it's like, when the last time we got something like that? Let's just be honest. Now, if you looked at hmm, I don't know. Nah, I'm, I might have to check my health myself because I was thinking about Spawn on HBO, but I don't think so. No, I don't think so. It wasn't an hour necessarily. I might have to check. Now, I could be wrong on that. I have to check back on that. Y'all are free to follow me. In fact, let me give y'all a quick challenge. If you can think of any other show that's had Invincible's runtime in terms of every episode, please jump that in the comment section down below because I would definitely love to check that out. Because I don't, to be honest with y'all, I really don't recall any series up to this point in terms of being animated that I can recall being uh, as long as Invincible. And let me make this clear. The greatness about that is they never feel like they're 40 minutes. Honestly, to be honest with y'all, they feel like they're at least a good 30 to 35 minutes long to me. But 
they do so well in their pacing to me as far as i'm concerned with the overarching plot for season one that it never feels as if they're dragging it for me ever at any point for me personally but to the point now let me say this now get back to that particular point that i'm bringing up if they go so far as to show mark get into a certain altercation with a certain character if they i'm just saying this now if they animate that shit and granted i do know that there are certain scenes that were covered in the comic in the first season that were expanded upon that was never shown in the comics so I'm just saying this right now, y'all. If they do what I think they're going to do, and if they expand on it further than they're showing on the comic books, I'm just going to say this right now. If season one has not set the bar for, anim for animation, period, here in the West, if it hasn't set the bar right now, y'all, it's like... Even before they even may got, they may get to that scene, they probably will be able to well establish that that bar and not knock it off a peg if they get to that scene. If they do, they may not. They may do it. I'm not sure. I want to be surprised. But anyhow, with all that being said, let me now fully get into my full review for season one of Invincible. And I have to say, y'all, Mark as Invincible, and um. Stephen Young, if I'm saying his last name right, for those who may know this man, he played Glenn in The Walking Dead, big homie. And I have to say, with him and, and hold up, before I even go there, I just, I let me just give a quick another special shout out to the to the um, casting director because they cast such a wonderful plethora of voice actors not even voice actors but just actors and actresses to, to give these voices give their vocals to these characters jk simmons shouts to him and for anyone who's familiar with oz and you know who you are he i have to definitely say these two gentlemen steve and jk they gave their all in this series or excuse me this season and i can definitely see that we have not seen them peak just yet. I can definitely see that we have just given been given a, such a good slither of the talent they can bring to this show. And I definitely have to say, y'all, that from season, excuse me, not season one, but with season one, from episode one to eight, it never feels as if the show ever dips in my personal opinion in terms of its quality. Every episode serves a purpose. Every episode is different to where it feels as if you can still tell there's a passage of time being covered, but it's not so crazy to the point where you feel lost. Like they'll remind you how much time has passed in the show so that people understand like, oh, this amount of time has passed. So X, Y, Z has occurred in that amount of time and why it comes to this particular conclusion, what have you, right? And just so y'all know this, this is going to be spoiler free. Now, I'm probably going to do a spoiler, which is probably going to be longer than this because, oh, y'all, we got so much to talk about. I, you know what? You know what? You know, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this because I've been thinking about this for a long time, and this is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do a live stream. I'm going to go live. And we're going to do a spoiler cast, so to speak, for Invincible Season 1. That's what we're going to do. This one's going to be spoiler-free. But somewhere down the road, I'm going to do a spoiler cast for Invincible. And then, you know what? I'm going to have some special guests. You never know. But anyhow, to go on to the inter... To get on with this <laughs> review, y'all, I have to say that to touch on, because I'm going to touch on season, seasons one, first episode. I have to say that this episode, it, because I don't want to spoil it, y'all, but I'm going to say this. The first episode, it reminds me of 
DC's animated series. It was very reminiscent of their style. And what I love about the first episode, y'all, is that the literally about if I I'm gonna have to check back on this, but literally almost like the last five minutes of this of uh, this episode, the expectations that you would assume they might be going because how the rest of the episode was going. They toss that shit way out the window. I mean, they toss that shit the fuck out. I mean, it is out of here. And I am here for it. Do you understand me? I am here for it. And what I love about Invincible and low-key fucked me up is the fact that the title card for Invincible has his name. But, and again, I'm not going to spoil it. But there is actually a legit reason why every time the episode is aired, a new episode is aired, and they bring up his name, there's a splat of blood on it that gets bigger and bigger and bigger till it's just, it's just right with red. And by the, and by when you get to the last episode, y'all, that's when it clicks in your head why it's going like this. And it's like, like, when I tell y'all how I was, like, I'm going to tell y'all this. From episode one to five, especially five, between episode one and five, you get the sense that you understand that Mark is relatively a very new hero. His dad, Omni-Man, greatest, well, I ain't going to say the greatest necessarily, but he's the most powerful being on the universe, not universe necessarily, but with on Earth, right? And you got to take this in consideration. He's not from Earth. He's from a different planet. Now, here's the thing, y'all. If you know Dragon Ball story, if you know the story of Dragon Ball and the transition from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z, the best way I can sum up without spoiling it, the best way I can sum up the plot for the season one is, let's like, say, if you had Bardock come with Goku to live on Earth, but let's say you still had Goku knock his head, so he's not, he already, he doesn't know the real reason why he's there on Earth, but let's say his, his father's still raising him. And it gets to a point where he realizes that we have to do what we're supposed to do. And again, I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm just giving y'all a quick uh, comparison in terms of how the season one it go it goes, and we definitely are, are introduced to a wonderful cast of characters that definitely complement the series very well. Up to this point in time, you never know what their story may lead into, and I definitely am looking forward to the definitely again. I don't know how many seasons this series is going to have, but I'm be honest with y'all. I definitely can see them doing easily, in my personal opinion, I can easily see them doing at least on top of season one, five more seasons. So in total, they can at least easily go for six seasons. Now, they could probably go past six seasons, but again, that depends on how they want to go about it. I don't know. But with all that being said, y'all, overall, I would tell y'all, Please go check the series out. Again, it's been out for months. Well, yeah, it's been out for months. But again, the last season, the last episode has been aired for a few weeks now. So y'all can definitely please go check it out. And when I say check it out, please go through the correct channels to do so. Show your support for the uh, for the folks out there who put this out for us. Okay, y'all? If you possibly can, please do so, okay? And is there anything else in particular before I close this video off? I'm trying to think before... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's something else I do want to cover y'all is this. Before anything else, if you haven't seen the trailers for the show, I'm going to say this. If you're someone who uh, has a queasy stomach and you are... And again, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but I'm just to say this. If you have a queasy stomach and you easily get deterred from Mortal Kombat style violence, I'm just going to say that, then I would say 
be mindful. If you do want to check the series out, regardless, just be mindful. Don't be afraid to pause the video or let's say even you might have to turn away from certain scenes. And trust me, I don't blame you because there were certain scenes in this series at this point in time, y'all, that I was like, wow. Like, wow. Like, y'all are not holding back. And you know what's so fucked up? Y'all know what's so fucked up, but again, I'm not going to spoil this for y'all. And please, again, for anyone who's a big fan for the series or in the comic books, please don't spoil this series. Please don't. But from what I've heard, y'all, again, oh, we have, if you see first, I'm telling y'all, if you check out season one, and by the end of it, if you so fucked up, from what I've heard, y'all, from people who've read the comics, they let us know, oh, baby, y'all haven't seen shit yet. Ooh, y'all haven't seen a goddamn thing yet. Wait, just wait. Y'all gonna get so fucked up. And look, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm being honest with y'all. For me personally, that's and this is what and this is my thing, y'all. I'm fucked up, but it's a good fucked up. Like I'm fucked up to a point where it's like I love to see. Like I know I'm be wrecked. It's like okay, if y'all ever seen Game of Thrones, right? Before this, the final season came around, y'all. I was of the similar mindset that I am with uh, Invincible. Like I knew that that show was gonna fuck me up, and I was here for it. But what kind of shifts for me when it comes to Invincible is I want to be fucked up, but because of the level of violence they're willing to go for this show, I'm a little hesitant. It's like I'm anticipating the next episode, but then knowing how far they're willing to go with the violence, I'm like, I don't know. I want to see all that now. Like, I'm not saying I'm a squeezy. I'm a queamish person necessarily. I don't mind like that level of violence. But then it's like ugh, there's just certain things I'm just mm, I, a person I can't stomach for too long. I'm gonna be honest with y'all on that. But while that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I definitely would encourage y'all to please go check it out. I think it'll definitely be worth your time. Again, please go through the proper channels to support the career the creators of the show, the people who animated the show. And you know something else I do want to give a quick shout out to while that's on my mind. I definitely have to give props to everyone in the department that factored into making of the show, especially the sound design. Because the sound design in this show and the, just the little details, they go such a far a long way because I'm such a, I promise y'all, I'm such a sucker for details like that. For example, like the weight of a punch, right? And they being caught, but you see kind of like the the way it affects the background. Like the force itself projecting this kind of wave of force that moves the trees, but subtly. It you know, like say like um you know how like um like when Superman takes off, right? You know, if people are right behind him, you know, they have a gust of, you know. Wind kind of blowing off on them when you take off. It's like those level of details the show will do that's subtle. And it's like if you pay attention to it, you it may not, it may cut you off guard a little bit, but it's so well done. And I love that level of detail. That shows you how much care and how much work they really want to put into this. They don't want to be lazy, they want to put hard work into this, and I love it. I'm here for it. So all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, please, if you have not checked out the first season of Invincible, I highly encourage you, again, if you're not too squeamish, and again, take your time to pause or just look away at certain scenes, I don't blame you. I definitely feel like this is definitely something for you to check out. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, the most, aka also known as Nelson. Again, if you like this review, again, please like the comment, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want to, if you don't, probably okay. Again, what were your thoughts on the season? And again, hold up. Let me make this clear, y'all. Again, since this is a spoiler-free review, please, if you have seen the, uh, if you've seen the season one, one through eight, please, I have nothing wrong. Please comment your thoughts, but let's not try to give spoilers. Or if you're going to spoil or something, please just give a quick uh, spoiler alert on there. And trust me, y'all, we're going to go into spoilers when I do the live 
the live stream. Or we can go into it, okay? With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch y'all later in the next video. Peace and I love y'all. Bye.